Hello, my beautiful and handsome loves out there. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel and resonating with the videos and showing me so much, so much, so much, so much love in the comment section. I really do rock with y'all. In this case, you want to know my readings are open right now. $20 for two questions. The information will be in the community tab and in the description box below. So let's get straight into it. What's going on with this general message here, spirit? I, the moving on card is sticking out to me. I'm feeling the energy. Somebody, you, you done. You're done. Somebody in their power, you're done. You withdrawn from people. Eight, eight. Eight, eight. You could definitely be seeing a lot of eights here. Somebody's in their power. Very emotionally strong. Let's see what's going on here for the general energy. What's the energy here for the collective spirit? What the world got going on? What's the story here? Oh, temptation first card out and it failed. Why temptation the first part out? Hmm. Something about temptation, intuition at the bottom of the deck with disruption, firm foundation. Let me get something with this temptation. This is like the devil card. We got patience. 15, 14. Some type of seed is being planted. We got heartache and loss, the three of swords. Somebody's, somebody was tempted to do something here and now they regretting it. That's, that's what I'm getting here. Somebody's regretting something that they was too tempted to do. I'm going to get four cards here. I feel the need to get four cards. I'm gonna see. I gotta see what comes out under temptation. Patience and planning. Patience out here twice. Somebody lost patience in something. And they regretting the fact that they lost patience. Look, it fell right on top of patience here. Emotional withdrawal. Ooh, wee, this is you losing your patience to deal with people here who are so irritating, who are so just all over the place, who are so tempted here to trigger you, who are so tempted here to get at you, so tempted here to like find like find a key here to bring something out of you. I just showed y'all this emotional withdrawal. You are withdrawn here from from people here. Who <laughs> wow, somebody is withdrawn from low vibrational people. Congrats. That's where you are right now. You are not around low vibrational people, places, and things. But whoever this low vibrational person was or whatever this low vibrational thing here whom had some type of hold on you before is regretting something. Or, I don't know, child. That's kind of like what I'm getting. Not, so, not more like a temptation thing, but a person. It's more like a person. Let's get some more here. Yeah, somebody here is in their bag. Oh, look at that. Mental conflict. Two, child, two, two, two is out here. Why do these cards come out here like that? And then we got trapped in fear at the bottom of the deck here. Something is hitting another person. They are literally in mental jail right now. Thinking about how they treated another person. Mental conflict, movement, choices, decisions with intuition. Intuition was just out here. Somebody like is realizing here that they made some type of dumb decision. They wasn't listening to their intuition here. Now they, in, now that somebody here is like in some type of mental prison. Somebody is in a mental prison here because of some type of seed they were trying to plant for another person. And God was possibly telling somebody here to leave another individual alone. I don't know if I want to like leave these cards together or just lay them under here. Nah, I don't think I'm just gonna lay it under here. Two 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 is definitely significant for you. It is definitely significant. Somebody is literally fighting with themselves. You see how this person got, somebody is thinking about them. That person, that's them in their head. God has somebody thinking about themselves and what is it about themselves that's so distorted here that makes them treat people the way that they treat them. Somebody is in a mental prison right now. Like, oh my goodness. 
They going through it. Spirit got somebody. Look at that. As soon as I spit the deck, eight of swords. Baby, Spirit got somebody going through it. This is eight of swords right here. Eight of swords, eight of wands. Mm, something's been hit back. This is a major backfire here. This is like literally God, like literally telling somebody, now sit your butt down and think about what you did. <laughs> oh, literally. Oh my goodness, seven of cups. To, bro, I can't make this up. Now sit your butt down and think about what you did. The seven of cups with the justice card, bro. Sit your butt down and think about what you did. What is going on? Oh my gosh. Yo, I'm going to keep that. Like these cards literally just came out. Oh my gosh. Wow. Some type of devilish energy here is happening to speak to God. And I'm getting a line like, ye are God. Since we all are a part of God, that means that we have to look at ourselves. God is more than just an energy that's out there looking over us. God is also us. We demonstrate the energy of love and hate towards people and ourselves. And, if and depending on how we how healed we are or what type of work we're doing and how our perspective on the world, our family. And it's come, this comes down to a lot of things here. But baby, somebody's in spiritual jail. What's this justice with the seven of cups? I don't know what somebody did here. But God is on ass. God is on it right now with somebody with the six of cups. Something about something that was did in the past. Ace of pentacles at the bottom. Mm. This could be somebody in somebody's family here. What's the seven of cups specifically? We got the six and seven of cups right here. What's the seven of cups? Because baby, somebody thinking about this. Man, I should have just waited. Three of cups. Oh, this is a group of people here. Oh, this is a group of people. Two of swords. They being blocked from moving forward here. Ooh. Spirit on a group of people behind. This is a group of people here that's thinking about something. They even thinking about each other. I'm mean, it's a lot that's gonna come out when I get to this month of conflict because I'm being so drawn to it. And it's sitting right up on the patience. And what did I say before these cards even came out together? That somebody's thinking about some type of seed that they planted here. Something they was doing to another person and it got them in heartache and loss. That you're not losing, they're losing. And it's a I feel like it's a group of people. With the three of cups coming out. I really do. A group of low vibrational people. What's the three of cups, seven of cups? Let me get one more. They celebrated too quickly. That's what I'm getting. A group of people here celebrated too quickly. Ate a sword child and it fell right on top of emotional withdrawal. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Do y'all hear what I'm saying? These people are in a mental prison right now having to think about what they did. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Bro, I can't make this up. Identification card, three of pentacles with a six of wands. These people celebrated too fast. These people had no idea who they was messing with. No idea who you were. What's this patience? Somebody here also could have tried to affect how patient you were. Like, you could be somebody very patient here at manifesting things for yourself. Like, you know, you don't really look for quick money here. I'm getting the ace of pentacles. What's this patience? Something about you probably don't look for quick money. We got the death card and it fell right on top of emotional withdrawal. What goes around comes back around. Oh my goodness. See, these people at one point, ooh, we. The energies are switching here. It's flipping. This is you, like I showed y'all in the beginning. And this is these people. The energies are flipping right now. Wow. Somebody, yeah, somebody tried to put an end to something that you was working on here with that death card. Somebody wants you to hold back from yourself. What's this death? Some type of seed you was planting with the identification card. This person had no idea who they was messing with. And we got the world at the bottom of the deck with the devil. The spirits say these people got to come to it. Baby, there's a cycle that's getting ready to close here. This cycle is already closed. But there's literally something that's getting ready to close for these people. Someone's about to experience like some type of lack energy. I ain't trying to project it. This is what I'm saying, the energy. What's the death card with the identification card? You went through some type of major transformation here. They got so you literally are really you living rent free in somebody's head right now. A group of people. You are living rent free in their head right now because whatever they tried to end for you, 
Baby, it did not work. What's a death card with the identification card? It did not work. It did not work. What happened is what they're asking themselves. What happened? What is wrong with you? Somebody is speaking real bad to themselves right now. That's what I'm getting with this with this mental conflict. Somebody's speaking real bad to themselves right now. Like, how could you be so stupid? You know, how could you do that and not see this? And they go to Seven of Swords. <clears throat> All this person has to look forward to in the past and in the future, they look at this Seven of Swords is facing this, three, this uh, heartache and loss right now. This person is in the Three of Swords energy. This is Three of Swords. This heartache and loss, that's the Three of Swords. Somebody telling themselves, I should have waited to do something. I should have waited to do this. Yeah, somebody was really gunning for you. They was really gunning for you. And your whole identity. What's the identification card? They was really gunning for you. Somebody wanted you to be in this month of conflict. But now they in it. Queen of Wands. Somebody had no idea who you were. A freaking boss baby. Man, this person was gunning for you. Now we got the devil with the world. This devilish energy was trying to end something for you. They had no idea who you... Yo, it's something about your work ethic, bro. Baby, somebody here going to hermit mode and get in tune with themselves. And like, it's like somebody here co-creates with God. And you don't play no games. You are very creative. And you are somewhat like, somewhat like a witchy character. What's this Queen of Wands? Yeah, somebody here is like a natural born witch. Two of Cups. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Bro, like somebody here is very successful. This is all about your success. Like somebody here is, very, is going to be known by a lot of people. They're going to want to have a lot of people court them. And this is somebody you was close to at one point in time too. Could have been a close friend. Or friends. You know, take it as it resonates. Clarify heartache and loss. Page of Swords. Man, somebody feels so stupid with themselves. What's the Page of Swords? Somebody's looking back on something that they did in the past. This is something that happened in the past. Because we got the Justice card out here. I mean, the Six of Cups out here. Six of Swords. Somebody is, think, is looking back on something they did in the past. Someone's having to, having to move forward. Six of Wands again. What's this page of swords with this uh six of swords? You made a decision to walk away from someone. I feel like you. This is also talking about you seeing some type of pain for truth from another person here, and realizing that the best decision for you to do is to walk away. What's the page of swords? Six of swords. To like control yourself. Like you knew somebody. Yeah, the hangman. Like you knew somebody here was trying to mess with you. Three of swords, child, with the lovers. Somebody here was trying to mess with you mentally. Somebody did not want you to feel chosen or loved here. I feel like you, yeah. You was in this three of swords energy at one time. But now somebody else is in this three of swords energy and they can't handle it. Somebody cannot handle stepping a foot into your shoes here. You walked away and chose yourself. What's this patience and planning? What's patience and planning here, spirit? Two of swords. And it fell right on top of emotional withdrawal. This emotional withdrawal is you. This is you. I feel like you are blocking people. You are holding back from people here. So people wanted you to hold back from yourself. And you holding back from them. What's the two of swords? You block people out of your energy and your focus. Someone here is focused. With intuition right up under patience and planning. Somebody here is focused, baby. All these cards. Look at that. The world with the devil. Died. Ooh. Ooh. We. Somebody tried to block you, bro. <laughs> Y'all see how I said that? Someone tried to block you. A devilish energy out here tried to block you. And now this person is being blocked from even touching you and your man. Baby, make sure you do some prayer tonight. Make sure you praise God tonight, okay? However you do it, I don't care what type of religion you're in, what type of spiritual practice you have, praise God tonight. God, source, Jesus, Allah, however you want to call it. You know, whatever for you, whatever. Because somebody was so focused on blocking you, and they, man, somebody's been put to an end. Do you hear me? 
We got the devil card out here with the world. And the justice came out for temptation. Someone is being completely blocked here. And God is not letting up on somebody here. They're not putting somebody to an end in. Like, I don't find this, this like the end for somebody is in. They're going to like pass away or something. Oh, but they definitely being taught a lesson. Somebody's being bombarded with negative energy. They are being bombarded with negative energy. I'm telling you. What's the devil? But it's like at the same time. They can't throw that negative energy. Child, we got the king of wands with the sun at the bottom of the deck. What is going on here? What is going on here? Is the king of wands? Somebody try to control you. Who is this? What's the king of wands with the devil? Somebody's been exposed. So I'm about to be exposed to you. What's the king of wands with the devil? Wow. Somebody took a major hit here when you walked out of their life. Three of Wands almost came out. What's the King of Wands with the devil? Oh, somebody don't want this reading to get out. I'm telling you, with the star at the bottom of the deck and the Ten of Swords. Oh, somebody took a major hit when you walked out of their life. Because you a whole star out here. You a whole star out here. You are in this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is crazy. So, you are very emotionally strong. Somebody tried to play a lot of emotional games with you in the past. With you and a third party here, possibly. This could definitely be like a relationship. What's the world? But now somebody is mad at themselves because you closed out a cycle with them. What's the world? But this is only right. This is only right. Now somebody, look at that three of wands. I just mentioned the three of wands earlier. Somebody is thinking about some type of action here that they did in the past. Man, somebody feels so, who somebody beating themselves up, bro. Somebody's really beating themselves up over you. Really are. Especially if this is a, uh, like a lover. I'm talking about, baby, because you, so you in your bag. <laughs> you in your bag. That's why we got two, two, two out here. All somebody can think about is you and themselves because of the actions that they, they took. Clarify emotional withdrawal. Like I said, this is you and this energy. And I see the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, somebody is in a bag, bro. Somebody is in a bag. Oh, I thought I'd just seen the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Maybe I was tripping. Somebody in a bag. Clarify emotional withdrawal. I seen the Eight of Pentacles. Clarify emotional withdrawal. Hear from your spirit. Thank you. Five of Swords. Then I say you. It, <laughs> a lot of cards when they came out here, they fell on top of emotional withdrawal. But why this card had to fall on top of mental conflict though? And we got the star at the bottom of the deck. Why they card had to fall on top of that though? You a star here, babe. Do you hear me? Keep doing your thing. Keep moving how you moving. Keep loving on yourself. Keep moving with love. Really treat people how you want to be treated. But I ain't gotta give you no pep talk, baby. Because whatever you doing, you doing it right. This person. You walked away from somebody. All they had to offer you was temptation, conflict, chaos, arguments, being in your head, thinking about this, thinking about that, questioning this, questioning that, and you walked away from this energy. And this had somebody in their head like, dang. What? What's the five of swords? Someone here was exposed to you. Somebody here cannot believe that you gave them their energy back with the Knight of Swords. <laughs> this is definitely something that happened in the past. Like, this reading, I don't care when you're seeing it, this situation has already happened. Because I'm, it's, it's here heavy. It's here heavy. This already happened. I mean, no matter, even if, even if it happened yesterday, you know, it's still, it, it happened already. I feel it. It's not something that's getting ready to happen when you watch this video. This already happened. <laughs> Somebody's thinking about some type of action they took towards you. What's the Knight of Swords, Five of Swords? This person has been exposed to you. The Sun with the High Priestess, they still exposed. With the Hermit. Hmm.
Wheel of Fortune almost came out. Queen of Cups almost came out. Someone here about to make a lot of money by connecting with people. What this mental conflict? That's what I'm ready to get at. What this mental conflict? Fair, right on top of here. The temperance. Oh my gosh, somebody's so out of balance with themselves. What's the temperance? Somebody try to get you out of balance with yourself, or someone here just they feel like they don't equal up to you. Somebody felt yeah, somebody. Some type of love somebody had for you turned into jealousy. <clears throat> it made somebody come for you. This could definitely be a friend here in this King of Wands energy. Of like a, this could be a feminine here. Take it as it resonates. But I'm picking up on both. I'm picking up on a friend with that King of Wands and the Devil. And I'm also picking up on an old lover here. If somebody that's meant to be a part of your soul tribe and love on you. Because with just with the justice being out here clarifying this temptation. In the world, clarifying the devil over here, and temptation is basically the devil. It was somebody that was supposed to love on you, two, two, two out here, but they didn't. Something, love, some type of love somebody had for you in the beginning turned to hatred. What's this temperance? Ten of Wands. Heavy Sagittarius energy. This person could definitely be a Sagittarius. It could be a Sagittarius uh, friend or a sibling. Somebody was supposed to be a part of your soul tribe and build something with you, but it turned to hate. We got the queen and the king of wands out here. This could definitely be a sibling. Like you, you, you could have a sibling here that's a fire sign. Like whether it's a male or a female. What's this ten of wands with temperance? Heavy Sagittarius. And now this person thinking about a page of cups. Somebody want to apologize. Somebody wants to apologize. Mm-hmm. They can't take they can't take this. It's like thinking about you. You got chapter three with memories of love right behind you. That somebody is thinking about you. And all the good times y'all might have had together and or something. Yeah. Yeah. What's this uh movement choices and decisions? The decisions what 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 caused you two to like part ways? Queen of Cups. This is you. This is you. Two of Pentacles. This is you. What's the Queen of Cups? Like I said, one point in time, you was in this uh, heartache and lost energy. Because you really didn't have love for whoever this was. But then you... What I just say, bro? What I just say? Heartache and loss. That's the Three of Swords. And then it came out. So, overall... Man, some energy is really hitting somebody. Like I just said, at one point in time, you was in this Three of Swords energy. You was, like, devastated that somebody, like, that you had, that somebody could just hurt you so, or even try to hurt you this bad. Somebody hurt you, okay? You seen it. You might have even cried about it. You're a very sensitive person. Somebody's like an emotional gangster, okay? <laughs> Someone's like, somebody's scared of you. Whoever this is, they are scared of you, Oh my goodness, what's the Queen of Cups Three of Swords? You really have to see some type of painful truth for another person if they was not for you. This person like just wanted to use you, manipulate you, cause you chaos and conflict. With the four of swords, and you know what you decided to do? Make peace with the situation and walk away. Like, yeah, I'm hurt. Heartache and loss. Three of swords. Yeah, I'm hurt. You know, but I'm gonna make the decision, movement, choice of decisions to just walk away. And focus on myself. And baby, somebody see you focus on yourself, baby. Then as soon as I got over here with this patience and planet and that king of wands with the double came out. And then I seen the star at the bottom of the deck, baby. You in your bag, okay? And somebody looking back at you like, ooh. Man, ain't no way I'm baby getting a chance with this person. Whether it's a family member or a lover. Ain't no way I'm baby getting a chance with this person. Like, I don't know. This is definitely somebody from the past, though. Somebody here that you have been knowing for... I'm going to say between two years and up. Something about six years. I'm getting with this two, two, two. Something about six years is significant. Mm, but look, man, that's crazy. It went from the three of swords to the four of swords. You and your bag. Clarify intuition. Someone's intuition is so heightened. You could definitely be a reader here. You don't have to be. With this Queen of Cups, and then we got intuition right here. Yeah, some of my intuition is so heightened. So heightened. And God is so proud of you for listening to yourself. 
We got the chariot. Man, somebody in a bag, but for one, somebody in a bag. <laughs> oh, we man, somebody like, oh man, you got people really feeling some type of way. What's the chariot? You are celebrating accomplishments, achievements, whatever it is that you like, whatever it is that you want. It's coming. Because you close out a major cycle here. You thought somebody loved you. This person, you shocking the heck out of people right now with the judgment and the six of wands at the bottom of the You shocking people right now. You are shocking people that you are really this person here of like somebody here could literally like be, have some type of intuition based business. Like you could be a reader. Or you in the spiritual community or something. A lot of people are very shocked by your intuition and your downloads. And the way God speaks to you with this judgment at the bottom. What's the tower here with the te with the uh, temperance? I mean, child, a chariot. Somebody is an earth angel. You're going to have a lot of people coming to apologize to you. In the fair, right on top of temperance. Somebody is an earth angel. Four of pentacles. With the magician at the bottom of the deck. And the eight of wands with the ten of cups. Yeah, somebody here get tremendous downloads. Tremendous downloads. Like, I might want to pull some from my other day period for a second, child. I need it. Here I come, y'all. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. I like this. <laughs> Let me get a uh like an archetype card out here for you guys. For my sacred feminine oracle. Let's get a card out here for you. Let's see what type of energy you're in right now. Because you definitely come out here just queen of cups. Very abundant. People love you, you know. So let's see what card comes out for you. What card do you have out here for my collective spirit that's resonating with this energy right here? Thank you so much. Peace, love, light, and protection, baby. God loves you. We got unrecognized. Eight, again, eight. With empower at the bottom of the deck. Somebody here wants you to feel unempowered with the being in reverse. Neglected in reverse. Committed in reverse. Somebody here wanted, really wanted you to neglect yourself from expressing who you are. Someone here is very expressive. And then we got Oracle. Right next to expressive. Yeah, someone here could definitely be a reader. You could definitely be a reader here. Before I uh, clarify this, uh, clarify unrecognized. Before I read the card, King of Pentacles. With the Emperor at the bottom of the day, child. This is, so, this is this person here. Whoever this uh, King of Wands is... That's them. They're heavy on the lover. This could definitely be a lover. They don't have to be. It could definitely be a family member here. They don't have to be a lover. Let's read Unrecognized. 26. All right, child. I got to use the bathroom now. Wounds. Inside you, there may be a wounded self who has been ignored or scorned by others. Your wounded self hasn't mattered enough to some people and has been overlooked, neglected, or unrecognized. Hmm. See, <clears throat> I feel like this is another reason why you've been rewarded by spirit. Because people, on purpose, they choose not to see you. They choose not to recognize you. Because they see something within you that they don't see within themselves. Someone here is like a humanitarian here. Like, there's a power that some people see within themselves that's really not there. But when they come across you, they feel it on you automatically. And it intimidates people and make them want to do things here to knock you out of that power. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. What's the King of Pentacles? With the moon. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting here. Like, making you feel like you don't matter. Like, yeah, this is how people make, used to make you feel, Queen of Cups. Make you feel like you didn't matter. Like, you wasn't, like, you was a nobody. You are a very emotional person. Like, these, these snowflakes, like, represent crying. Someone here definitely cried a lot in their past. And it's okay, babe. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You love people. You care about people genuinely. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You just can't do it for everybody. So you find the right people here to entangle yourself with, to love on. 
Because not everybody going to love that energy about you, sweetie. And it's okay. Metamorphosis with healer. Baby, somebody going through a major transformation. You are definitely a healer here. Definitely. Definitely, babe. And I'm loving it. Seriously. Let's clarify this a little bit. Someone like an ascendant master. A star seed. Very chosen energy you are. Very like tapped in. Let's clarify this a little bit. Clarify this uh, double card. What's the devil? Taurus. So this is a Capricorn or a Taurus. I don't know why. I got I got Capricorn. We got chosen one at the bottom of the deck. The last shall be first. They hate you because you're chosen. You become it first because you put in the work. When the King of Pentacles just came out and Taurus just came out. Who the King of Wands with that devil? I'm coming back. This is somebody from the past. Here. Somebody from the past thinking about some type of past action they took towards you. What's that Knight of Swords? Because they, I'm coming back fell right on top of the Knight of Swords. I'm ashamed. Somebody's feeling ashamed of themselves and what some scammer. Somebody tried to scam you. Somebody tried to scam you. What's that justice? What's justice? Humble. Oh, babe, I'll tell you, somebody, God is humbling somebody right now. God is humbling whoever this is. Humbling them. What's the Queen of Wands? Because they came out for you. You coming out here, this Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands energy. Very empathic, like feeling happy. You happy. You happy co-creating with God. Clarify unrecognized that just came out. Light worker, this is you. Yeah, baby. People really try to put a stop to you. They really try to end you because you're a light worker. You are meant to be this person of influence here. You are. And people try to make you feel very unrecognized that so you want to step into this energy. But now you finna step into an energy where you finna do very, very good for yourself. You got a lot of good karma coming in. A lot of good things are coming in for you. What's the Queen of Cups? Oh my goodness, we got the R word. And then we got Sun. Something about to be exposed here. What's the Queen of Cups? Man, like, ooh, we. That all were just sacral chakra. Then sacral chakra came out right after child and the car was still in the camera. I ain't even mean for the car to still be in the camera. Oh my goodness. Like you could be getting ready to expose some type of situation that happened to you in the past. Somebody that did something to you in the past here in your childhood to be specific. Somebody's going to want your forgiveness for something that you're getting ready to talk about that happened in your childhood. Yeah, somebody's getting ready to talk about something. Yeah, somewhere here got somebody in a family here or like a lover here that really been gunning for them. Really been gunning for you. What's going on with this energy I'm picking up on here in this spirit spirit? I ain't gonna clarify. No other card that just came out. Let's give me some on this energy I'm picking up on. Child, we got a family member that just came out. Your light blinds them. This is a family member. Could be a lover too for some of you, but for majority of you, this is a family member. What's family member? Childhood. Oh my, I can't make this up. And it's like three people. Petty. Something is backfiring. On some family members. Because of your wisdom and you healing. Could these people all like be always petty? What this family member with childhood? Somebody is about to talk about something in their childhood that happened. Closing this cycle. Who are you? These people want to know who you are. Transformation. Oh my goodness. Somebody's going through a transformation and they're going to be speaking. Somebody here is going to make money by speaking about things that have happened to them and helping other people get through things that happened to them also. If you're not in this energy right who excuse me right now, this is the energy that you are going to be in. Do you hear me? Because I'm feeling it here. It's here heavy. I feel it. Let's get a couple more. Give me some for my collectors specifically, just for them. Just for them, not these people. Shining, baby. When I say Empress, oh, I feel so good. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because you completed some type of cycle. And you stepping into your confidence and they don't like it, baby, but it's okay. It's okay. This whatever this this stuff can't touch you no more. Like, do you see what I'm saying, baby? You out here shining the way you supposed to be shining. Because you have such a beautiful spirit about you. People need to see you. They need to hear you. There's so much darkness in this world right now. We need some light. Okay, you the light, baby. We need you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so beautiful. You are very misunderstood. 
very 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 misunderstood all right let's pull a couple from this deck i ain't gonna even really shuffle like please give me a second chance baby somebody gonna want you to get him a second chance please give me a second chance i didn't i didn't mean to do this do that say this say that what's going on here spirit for the collective baby you was born a star like god said you was born a star okay can't nobody take this star status from you. You was born a star, and that's what you're going to be. That's what you're going to be, this star. You out here shining, baby. You out here shining, period. Child, I don't even want to take them anymore. <laughs> living rent-free in their head, baby. You are living rent-free in somebody's head right now. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Man, somebody is really about to go through it They said it. Somebody had a lot to say about you. They really about to go through it. Child, I'm ending out on that note. Like, I'm being called this end out right there. Somebody going through it, okay? But this is your Macy's Collective. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And no, 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 no. I have to get an oracle for you guys. I'm sorry. The spirit had to stop me for a second. Like, I'm ready for you to close it out, but close it out with an oracle here, okay? <laughs> Let's get this oracle. Somebody else's energy is coming through, trying to give me a quote this reading out, too. Matter of fact, I'm like being told to get one more here for whoever this, this energy is I keep picking up on. Child, natural born witch. <clears throat> I feel like you and somebody else are like natural born witches here. You could be a, you a good witch, and this person is a dark witch. Yeah, there's a witch in somebody's family here that's really been gunning for them for a long time. And this person's getting ready to be exposed. God giving them a taste of their own medicine, baby. I'm telling you, this person already been exposed. They already been exposed. And they thinking about the action they took towards you already. Let's get one more here. This person could be a Sagittarius because it almost came out. They could definitely be a Sagittarius. We got it somewhere in a chart. Heavy. Let's get one more. Okay, we got Archangel Raphael. And look at that, Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody's Sagittarius here. I feel like there's a multitude of people here that were, just, that were just all in your business, always having something to say about you. Everything is backfiring right now, though, okay? My love, everything backfiring. Let's get an old commissions here. But it don't even matter about everything backfiring. Just live your life. That's all you have to do to live your life. Don't bother with people who want to make you feel some type of way. Who want to just start problems with you. Family member, friend, coworker, I don't care. We got to lower your heart, babe. <laughs> lower your heart. we we'll clean up at the bottom of the deck. Spirit loves you. 35 can be significant. That's almost why I end the mentions out there on 35. It was like 35, 55 on the clock when I said I might end the message out. All right. Fidelity, loyalty, and devotion. You are very devoted to people. People know that when you connect with them, that you are somebody here who will really be by their side and stick with them and really, like, you know, care for them. Like, you make people shine. You make people feel seen, feel heard, you know, feel loved. It's like no matter what you've been through in your life, you still hold on to this purity energy about you. And some people really do hate it. Evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they are faithful to you. If you're going to have people come, trying to come back and prove how faithful they is to you, how loyal they is to you. People are about to start ratting people out, bro. And again, 8, 35, 5, 6, 7, 8. You could be seeing 35. You could be seeing a lot of 8s at this time, child. I'm telling you, these 8s are going crazy right now. A lot of people are going to be double backing from your past trying to prove how loyal they are to you. Wow. This know that spirit is loyal to you, babe, okay? And somebody here is very, like, you being loyal to your goals here. Let me read the prosperity message here for y'all, okay? Let's read the prosperity message. Your long-term loyalty to your goals is becoming evident in the world of conditions where your aspirations for success assume form and, re and reality. Success is finally taking shape. If you are loyal to your dreams, faithful to your plans, while remaining flexible and devoted to serving others, ooh, wee, baby, that's a message for me too because flexibility came out in my, in my personal reading I did for myself. Ooh, but I'm telling you. Spread, giving it to us. Look at that one, three, three. You could be seeing that number. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
But basically, babe, you got like you good, okay? You good, you good, you good, you good. You on the right path? You good, okay? You doing what you doing, loves? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah.